So Zach and I had been together for, um, we'd been married for about eight years and I told him that I had feelings for um, a close friend of mine and that sparked hundreds of conversations over um, almost years. two years. Yeah, before um, we actually were polyamorous. Mm -hmm. So we were just talking about it and um, I was reading every book that I could find and just trying to, you know, figure all the ins and outs of it and figure out how to do it right from the beginning. Um, <laughs> I know we didn't, we did a terrible job. And I think most people do when you're trying to undo a lifetime of monogamy and, you know, heteronormative like life. So guys, so why is he beta cucked? Look at the body language first. He is lower than her. He's totally fine with this. He is laying on her. He is laying on her shoulder while she is speaking and leading. She talks about even reading books and then he followed her after reading those books she's leading he's following relationship went to hell all right so they also talk besides the body language they also talk about how they spoke on this for two years which to her thinking of him screams of uncertainty women do not not like men who are uncertain it irritates them and pushes them away all right, so she, she says, yeah, she's still with him. That's because he's providing the financial stability, the beta side of the equation. He doesn't provide any of the alpha check marks, so she gets those alpha check marks somewhere else. She's still a hypergamous. She needs both sides. The alpha check marks come from somewhere else. All right, and I also look into this man's eyes. You can see the pain. Look into his eyes. Look when he laughs about we didn't do it the right way and he kind of like laughs look at the pain in his eyes women do not deal with male pain if it interferes with female desires now if it's not interfering with nothing yeah they'll deal with it they're more compassionate right but the minute it interferes with her desires she doesn't deal with it and it doesn't matter how much pain he has because her, her alpha side of the equation that she needs the hypergamous, the alpha hypergamous part, she is getting from somewhere else. So it doesn't matter how much pain he's in because that pain interferes with her desires. Okay, guys? So just look in summary, look at the things. Bad body language. She's leading in body language. She's leading when she speaks. She's leading with the action she does. She's leading. It goes to hell. Huge amounts of uncertainty. I mean, two years of talking about this. He should have said, no, either, okay, I'm all for it or I'm not. Make a decision. Don't be uncertain. That uncertainty irritates and pushes them away. And then number three, look at the pain in his eyes. But it doesn't matter because that pain interferes with her hypergamy, her alpha side of the equation, and her desires. Thank you, guys. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks.